electoral umpire meets the political players contesting for votes. This kind of meeting is to enhance transparency and improve the credibility of the Electoral Commission. The chairman of INEC brings his visitors up to speed with plans and preparations of the Commission to conduct the election in 176,846 polling units. But he says there will be no election in 240 polling units. There are 240 polling units without registered voters spread across 28 states and the federal capital territory. They range from one polling unit to 12 polling units in each state and the FCT, except Taraba and Imo states with 34 and 38 polling units respectively. No new registrants choose the polling units and no voters indicated interest to transfer to them during the last continuous voter registration exercise, mainly for security reasons. This means that no elections will be held in these polling units. The political parties are also largely satisfied with the disposition of INEC towards discharging their primary responsibility of conducting elections. They also worry about the harsh political climate created by politicians. It is an abhorrence and crudity, if not savagery, to see state governors denying campaign venues to political parties other than their own. This is crude, undemocratic, primitive, and uncivilized. Finally, I would want to admonish party leaders that having observed that the elections are conducted free, fair, and credible, the results should be accepted. There are concerns about students and staff security during the presidential and national assembly elections and the gubernatorial and state assemblies. It has prompted the federal government to order the closure of all universities, inter-universities and inter-university centers across the nation from February 22nd to March 2023. Acting on the directive of the Minister of Education, the National Universities Commission in a secular conveyed to all vice-chancellors of all universities and directors and chief executive of inter-university centers urged all the universities to vacate during the election period. Less than a week later, it has now also directed all polytechnics in the country to shut down until after the forthcoming general elections. In line with the directive, all academic activities in the schools will be suspended between Wednesday the 22nd of February to March 14, 2023. The House of Representatives had called on the Ministry of Education and its regulatory agencies to other all tertiary institutions to suspend academic activities until after the general elections to ensure no student is disenfranchised. The 2023 general elections is scheduled to hold on Saturday, 25th February 2023 for the Presidential and the National Assembly and on the Saturday 11th March 2023 for gubernatorial and State House of Assembly respectively. These are beneficiaries of Nasini Skill Acquisition Training and Empowerment Program selected from different parts of Ogun State. The Executive Vice Chairman of Nasini, Mohamed Haruna, who was represented at the event said, the skill development program was designed to breed competent workforce and to train the youth with modern skills that can prepare them for opportunities in their environment. He commented that the Chairman Senate Committee on Finance, Solomon Adeola, his colleagues at the Senate and President Mohamed Obuari for their support for the return of Nasini to the Presidency. The practitioner's knowledge needs either regular updates to remain relevant and be able to get employment, remain of employed, or even create jobs for others. This training is therefore to familiarize the trainee not only on the current advances of new and emerging technologies in electrical installations, repairs, and maintenance, but to also prepare, equip them, and build adequate competencies to meet the challenges and opportunities of the development anticipated of the shape and nature of the next industrial revolution. Stakeholders at the event commended the initiative and appealed to Naseni to continue to expand the scope of the training for the benefits of many unemployed Nigerians. 
They urge beneficiaries to make positive use of the training and the tools provided for them. This presidential initiative through Naseni is a veritable way of creating a pool of skilled professionals that will not only be gainfully employed but have potential to equally generate employment for others in due course. This is a great step which ensures that they are effectively mobilized to secure their future as well as the socio-economic growth and stability of Nigeria.